Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. Hey guys, what's up? DJ Unprotected. So I want to make a video about creating your own DJ transition tools for your set. In this video, I've got a track that um, transitions from 95 beats per minute to 128 beats per minute. And you can create something like this in any digital audio workstation or uh, any type of production suite for that matter. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm using Reason. It's one of my favorite programs to use for production. Um, and so when creating these transition tools, it shouldn't be something that you invest a lot of time in. Uh, something like this took me maybe two hours, and that might have been because I spent a little more time than needed to you know, sweeten, to taste, add some effects to it. But... You know, the point of a transition is to just keep the energy moving. Uh, you're moving from different type of genres, all while keeping the energy fluid and not ruining the momentum of the dance floor. So unless that is your objective, then you can do that. But so I'm going to play you a segment of uh, what I was working on for a transition tool. And then we'll go into, you know, my thought process and how I created it. Pick me up, 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 pick, 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 pick. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, you see up here, I've got everything kind of in um, 16 beat or four bar phrases. You got a 16 beat mix in, which is just a straight hip hop beat. And after that, we've got this uh, four bar tempo build. And this is where, you know, we have the claps increasing. Um, in Reason, you're able to automate your tempo ruler. So this is where I automated it from 95 to 128 BPM and kept it across that over the top. Uh, so here's a clap that I had going. And in some transitions, you know, that might be enough to just take care of what you need to. Um, but I decided to add, you know, some vocal flair. Uh, I got some loops from Loop Masters. Uh, they have some pretty cool products if you want to create, you know, when creating your own productions or transition tools pick me up pick me up pick me up pick me up then we have a risering effect and this one i thought was really cool because you'll hear sirens and stuff all the time in dj mixes uh popular you know house music anytime a huge transition or a drop is coming they'll have some type of siren well this one i created myself um using a brass instrument and automating the plugin and or the uh, the instrument and reason to get this type of sound. And to make it, so to make it to climb up, sound like, uh, you know, it was rising. What I did was I automated, you can kind of see it here, the modulation wheel going up uh, one whole octave for that, those 16 beats until the tempo reached where it needed to be. And then, um, then we, you know, you have a noise sweep, which is basically, you know, just white noise automated to filter parameter. And I could probably do a video on that in the future on how I create something like that. So, I mean, as you can tell, it's nothing real crazy. And, you know, the point to get across is just that we're moving the tempo in a fast enough pace that it's not too long to where the dance floor can get bored, but it's not too fast to where it throws off people's rhythm. And so that's why the 16 beat count, you know, seems to work really well. And I've mentioned that before in other videos is because phrases in popular music like hip hop, house music, uh, you'll hear production changes every 16 beats, definitely in hip hop, which is four bars. You'll hear something, an extra snare hit, uh, change in the bass line. Um, house music will be 16 beats, 32 beats. 
64 beats and so on depending so we kept it quick so every every four bars there's an element changing and up here you can see we've got the beat where after it comes in uh, everything kind of plays for four bars gives you a chance to sync up your next track that house genre track that you want to slam in after you play this one then you have a four bar mix out which is just a vocal sample with a drum beat And then following that, you just have, you know, four bars of a, just a basic drum beat. So if you're still mixing your next house track, you gave yourself some leeway. And so this total transition time is about 41 seconds. Um, the first, you know, four bars of this, you would take that time to make sure that you're beat matched and probably mixed in to your outgoing hip hop track or whatever track you're playing around 95 beats per minute. And then you'd... And then you'd be fully into this track by the time the transition hits. Because once that BPM starts changing and fluctuating, you know, the other track wouldn't match up to it. So it could be enough time. If you're creating your own, you could add, you know, more leeway. You can double this out for a complete minute if you wanted to of the drum beat. Um, I didn't feel a need to because I know that, you know, I could usually mix out of a track within, you know, eight bars, four bars. I, if I had to, I would just loop the end of this during my mix set so you know just remember the importance of transitions is you know moving keeping the dance floor moving while changing genres without ruining the energy in the room because at the end of the day as a DJ it is your goal to maintain that room you run the room nobody else runs it except for you so you know anybody can create something like this use minimal elements a house clap uh, just a basic drum beat. I use a regular kick drum, you know, uh, one of my favorite ones that I always throw in tracks. And then, you know, if you want to, you can add effects to taste. Uh, I won't get too much into it, but, you know, I added, added some, uh, you know, reverb, definitely on the noise effect, because if something so sharp like that is in your face, it can be annoying, uh, an echo effect. It doesn't have to be anything too intricate, because remember, you're playing it on a loud system, it's only going to be 30 sec, you know, 30 seconds. Match it up to other common tracks that you have so that it's at the same kind of level. And, you know, uh, just create it how you feel that would work in your set. You know, you can make those, those clap segments longer than four bars and extend them to eight bars if you wanted to just to build, you know, that suspense on the dance floor. And that's totally up to you. You know, as I've said before, creativity is your only limit to how you want to make the music um, so if you have any questions you know feel free to comment I'll be glad to respond back and I'm looking forward to making more tutorials so play it loud make some noise have some fun peace